Welcome back once again. It's week two, game two, Thursday. I'm on the campus of Blackman High School. I've got with me the head coach of the Blackman Blaze, head coach Matt Kreisky. How you doing today, coach? Pretty good. I appreciate you having me on today. Well, it's hot. I can tell you that. And uh, did y'all go this morning, or what are y'all doing? Yeah, we went, we've been going at 6, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, getting in, trying to beat the heat so we can get a full practice in and don't have to, you know, I can't stand going to the gym, um, you know. You don't get anything done. No, not much. It's complete so. discombobulation in a gymnasium. It's designed for basketball. It's not designed for football. Uh, yes. And, it's uh, just a warehouse at that point. It is, and uh, it's hard to get in that gym when you got Coach Barry Wartman up there you know, <laughs> guarding that gym. <laughs> well, uh, we know Coach Wartman very well. Uh, went over to Brentwood, 24-14, came, didn't, didn't come out like you wanted. Uh, I wasn't there. The game spin away from you. You were in the lead at one point. Did they get happy? Did we not keep our foot on the gas? Did we make some penalties? Did we let them get back? What happened? Uh, yeah, we got up. Uh, you know, we led pretty much uh, majority of the game. Um, third quarter, we got up. New way, third quarter, we got up 14-3. Uh, feeling pretty good. Then our uh, offense, we kind of hit a little low. We wasn't able to move, move the ball like uh, we were early on. Um, and then our, our defense got tired. We let them on the field, uh, let defense on the field way too long. They uh, played pretty good the end, pretty much the entire game um, and until the end just because the, we they got worn out from being on the field uh, too long. Um, you know, so that's this week, you know, we, we've been working on our offense, trying to improve some things, um, you know, helping our quarterback out, Jonathan Hamby, uh, so he'll be more, more successful and uh, we're able to keep the defense off the field, get them those guys some rest and so when they're out there they're uh, they're you know they're hundred percent. So you feel like it's fixable, whatever it was. You yep. felt like when you look at the film, well we we should have done this here or you know, and everybody doesn't understand there's twenty set forty whatever, there's there's a little time in between each play and that varies from time to time according to how the game is flowing. Yeah. If you got a penalty or something you can start you know, other people could start to figure out what they want to do on the next play, so on and so forth. But uh, uh, atmosphere-wise, uh, do you feel like you loaded up logistically, football operations-wise? Do you feel like you, you traveled well, all those things went good, or is there some improvement there? Uh, you know, I think everything went well. You know, it was just first game, getting, getting working out some kinks, but overall I thought, I thought it was good and I thought things went well, uh, you know. And so, you know, I thought, you know, this week going into this week, I think, you know, we're, we're working on things that need to be fixed. And so hopefully tomorrow night we see those improvements. Well, you know, I mean, what everybody has to understand is it's not all X's and O's. I mean, you know, I was talking to Coach Gutt on Monday. They lost a drone Friday night. He has to buy a drone. Uh, 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 your equipment's constantly going out. and It's coming back in, and it's a huge expense on, the, on, the, uh, on all these clubs. But, you know, you... That's got to go well because if that disrupts or you don't get your video or you got to call Brentwood and borrow video from them just to do your trading or just to cut your video, whatever the case may be, Coach, all those things have an effect on you as you do your job throughout the week. Yes, uh, you know, those things like said Coach Guts has spent some, spent some time that he probably didn't want to, but, uh, you know, figuring out a, a type of drone to buy and, and doing those things. Uh, you know, we were fortunate that, that we were able to get all those things in and those things worked well for us on Friday night. Well, you got one turning around, and this is a game I really, I promoted it. I'm not going to be here. I don't know why. I, I'm over at your brother's place. Of course, he's christening in a, a foot. He's not, but he is. I mean, we talked about it. But anyway, they're going to play the first game over there on the turf, and I wanted to be there for that first one. But I really want to be over here, too. And I can't be at both places, but uh, you got a good one coming in. Uh, it, they're your neighbor. Uh, they, uh, they cut part of your student body out to form themselves, so... Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, uh, uh, you know, the rib, you know, that's what that's what, the pass on. So uh, it's it, it's kind of passed because Sturge Creek's been there for a while. Yeah. But still, there's a, still a long, you know them, they know you. It's a backyard ball in a way. Yeah, um, you know, it's a, it's a good little rivalry, you know, between, I think, Stewart's Creek and, you know, you know Rockville, you know, those two, two schools right there. And so, um, you know, Friday night, I know the kids are, the kids are excited. We're playing an in-county game. Uh, like you said, at school, it's probably less than 10 minutes away from here. So um, the atmosphere is probably on both sides is going to be, be pretty good. So, um, you know, after a good week of practice, we expect a good good showing uh, Friday night. Um, you know, I know the kids are excited to be on the home turf. 
Um, you know, we're just a little disappointed that, that you and your crew are not going to be here. Well, you know, like I said, uh, I think it was like 10, 11 years. I never, Whiteman and Stewart's Creek didn't play, like you said, 10 minutes down the road and never did see each other. And, and maybe, you know, maybe along the way it'll get to where, you know, I know the county split as the bracket is, but I do believe it would be in the best interest of all of us regardless. If everybody played everybody in the off games, in other words, you know, you picked up Laverne, you picked up Smyrna, yeah. you picked up Stewart's Creek, you keep all the money here in the county, everybody comes to the games, you've got, you know, six, seven dish, you know, region yeah. games, and you add them, maybe do a one-off, you go, you know, go off, go off to Williamson County, play a one-off, but, you know, all, all, every game is important, it doesn't matter, you, you could say, you know, well, we want to go here, we want to put them on the road like, uh, like Hester did and go to Alcoa. Blackman's already done that. That's already been done. But at the same time, it's important to each and every season those games because later on, it'll 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 show who's really ready when when we get down to nine and ten. If you're in the position in the region to, to be to be ready to go into the playoffs. Yep, that that's our goal is to to get to game eleven. Um, that's what we're working towards. That's what we put in all the work for the uh, entire off season. Um, it's is to get that game eleven and you know. We're hoping to see some improvements this week, and as we move on through, you know, our last five games are all region games, and so we've got to be ready and prepared by then to uh, take on each 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 week's opponent, uh, so we can get that week eleven game. One thing you do not have to worry about the logistics of the stadium, as far as uh, gate and everything. Mr. Lawless has done it a million times, and the fans will walk right in here Friday night. You'll have a great crowd. It'll be great atmosphere. They'll stack them in here one by one. They'll all file out one by one after the game is over with. But you'll have a, you won't have to worry about somebody not being here Friday, even though it's Labor Day. It'll be packed. Yes, uh, Mr. Lawless and his athletic staff, they do a great job, and we're, we really appreciate them and everything they do. It takes a lot off our plate, so uh, you know we can't thank those guys enough. Kids, Inferno fans, be here early. I'm telling you, parking will be uh, a little rough, and it's going to be hot. So uh, uh, gather up. Uh, be out here to support the Blackman Blaze against the Stewart's Creek Redhawks. That kickoff is slated for seven.